everybody welcome back to the channel i'm brad lone wolf and today i've got a little bit of a little bit of a sod law story um but it does work out in the end so should be everything should be okay so the other day i was looking through the little little catalog um as probably a lot of people do to see what's see anything interesting coming up and um this came up the Parkside 2-in-1 sharpening stone and as at the time I thought I'd lost my sharpening stone uh, I thought oh good idea good chance to purchase one now it was um, $9.99 when I when I purchased the stone so I thought that was actually pretty good value the stone I've got here is a 1000 and 6000 grit stone um, but I'll, I'll come on to the details in a second like I say, I bought the stone and I got home and I was setting up to do this video uh, looking for something else uh, in uh, where I store a lot of my equipment. And you probably already guessed it. I found the stone that I thought I'd lost. It's also a 1000 and 6000 grit stone, um, but I'm going to keep hold of it because there's nothing, nothing wrong with the one I bought and there's nothing wrong with this one, so I might as well. Like I say, I might as well just keep hold of them. Anyway, moving on to the Parkside uh, 2 and one sharpening stone. I'm not going to pretend I haven't opened the box because I have. Um, but what you get, you actually get quite a lot for your money, or I personally think anyway, for what, is, what was effectively a £10 sharpening stone. So I'm going to change the perspective of the camera now and uh, we will have a much closer look at uh, what you get in the box. Righty, so there's the box. And as I say, for I think this is actually a pretty good bargain for, for what you get within the box. So as I said, I, I'm not going to make... Um, any illusions i have opened up the box just to see what was actually in there um so it's a two and one sharpening stone six thousand grit one thousand grit um you also get a, a blade guide with it as well and a bamboo base but let's open that up and you'll see everything anyway so first off you get a set of instructions or not instructions you thing um a little work manual uh, but in there funnily enough there are instructions on how to how to use the stone to sharpen your blade now i'm not going to show you how to sharpen uh, your blades in this video this is just an overview of the stone and it's just an overview of the stone and what you get within there and how well it works but like i say those are the instructions you then get we'll move we'll get this out first this is actually a blade guide so for those people that aren't confident with getting the correct blade on their knives or their scissors um this will certainly help and, pro and give you the correct edge that you need. It's a good thing and a bad thing, obviously. Um, you get the correct blade edge that you need, but um, some stones don't actually come with this. So learning the correct edge without a blade guide is, is a good thing. It's a good thing. So, yeah, I will use this. But um, right now, I'm going to put it to one side and we'll have a look at what's in the rest of the box. So there's the stone itself. Uh, wrapped up in a little bit of plastic, which I will uh, cut off in a second. But it's fairly weighty. Uh, blue sides to 6,000 
and the cream side is 1000 but yeah it's a fairly weighty stone not quite as big as my other one but um it's a little bit wider as well which will help when it comes to sharpened knives because it means you don't have to move or you don't have to move the blade over so many times right that's the rubber holder rubber anti-slip mat to hold the stone firmly in place it is loose it is designed to be loose which is why it came off last but by no means least box on one side is the bamboo base itself now this goes to hold the stone in place while you work with it the bamboo base also has an anti-slip uh, rubber mat on the bottom so when you actually come to work your blades i cannot see anything cannot see uh, any of your blades moving whatsoever however i will be putting another piece of wood uh, underneath this just to protect the tabletop right now according to the instructions um, and it does say it in here one thing i will say about these instructions is although they are clear you do have to work hard to try and find well if you're english speaker you have to work to try and find the english uh, because it starts off in one part of the instructions and these are fairly comprehensive instructions as you can see uh, but they start off in one section you then have to turn it over and look for other things in yeah uh, but the, i mean the, the fact that it contains instructions not only how to prepare the knife but how to use the knife uh, how to use the sharpening stone is is uh, a good thing is a really well thought out thing the, one of the first thing that the instructions tells you to do is to soak the whetstone in some water for about 10 minutes um, so I will take the, pl the plastic off of the stone now Okay, base to one side, bowl of water. That will require about 10 minutes uh, while it soaks. So for now, I will pause the video and then we will come back once it's had chance to soak. I'll see you in a second. Okay, so it's been about 10 minutes since uh, I started soaking the stone and as you can see I put another piece of wood down just to protect my desk while I do this next bit. So, I'll bring the stone in, drain off some of the excess, I'm going to start with the thousand grit facing up to begin with. Now. As I've already said, this is not a video showing you how to sharpen a stone. There's plenty of other videos on YouTube that will do a much better job and explain a lot better than what I can. This is just giving an overview and a quick review of this sharpening stone. Now, I'm going to be sharpening a few things or attempting to sharpen a few things uh, on this on the sharpening stone so i'm going to be sharpening my bushcraft knife i'm going to be attempting to sharpen the knife of a multi-tool and i shall also be seeing how well an axe sharpens on the sharpening stone as well right so let's begin with the bushcraft knife with my standard bushcraft knife um, this is a Felneven S1 for anybody wondering. Um, very, very, very well made bushcraft knife. Um, made in Sweden, triple laminated blade, 
really really good knife but that's not what this video is about so i'm gonna set myself up make sure everything is clear I'm gonna put bold water on the floor all right now i'm gonna start off without the uh without the the blade guide just for now just to see how well we get on Okay, now what I am expecting to see at the end of the shot at the end of the stone there, as you can see, it's starting to get a little bit dark with all the um, with with the filings actually being suspended in the water. Now I haven't poured the water away yet um, because it, the stone will at some point need re-soaking. Only a quick dip in and out, but it will require a little bit more soaking. Okay. Okay, I'm now going to swap over. 6,000 grit side and this is a brand new stone so I'm not expecting six yeah it felt like a thousand then this is a brand new stone so I'm not expecting this to give the best edge on my knife I'm probably gonna have to resharpen it on on this stone just um, obviously brand new knife, a uh, brand new knife, brand new stone, brand new way of working. I'm not expecting the perfect, I'm not expecting the perfect edge. And I don't know why I just did that because I haven't done that side. I haven't done that part of the blade on the thousand grit yet. Quick dunk in the water because it's starting to get dry. Okay. Let's try it with the blade guide now. Okay, so to use this blade guide, to use this blade guide, push your knife through the slot that will open it up and then rest it on the stone. And then just scrape it along. Now the issue with this is the curve at the end of the knife. see the blade guide itself that is as far as I can move it and it won't actually the blade itself won't actually contact the stone so it's kind of with that I have to freehand it anyway
Right. Quick clean and a quick soak. Still using the blade guide. Right, so the blade guide's still on there. What I do like about this blade guide is it is giving the absolute perfect edge, a perfect angle to get the perfect edge for the knife. But like I say, not all sharpening stones come with a blade guide. So learning, learning the angle, the correct angle for your knife is key. Now this is starting to put a really nice edge on this knife. Yeah, really quite nice edge. And have a quick clean up of that. Oh yeah. Not quite as perfect as I would like. I would probably, in all honesty, I'll probably go over it again with this stone just because I know, I know that this stone will pro put the edge on it that I like. That being said, I might as well start soaking it. Okay. So I'll go back to go back to that knife in a second. Well, I'll do that off. I'll do that off camera. But right, multi-tool blade. Now there is also there is already a problem with the multi-tool blade, and you probably figure out what it is, and that is it won't sit in the blade guide so this has to be done freehand problem with this is you've got the serrated blade and the plain blade i'm starting off on the wrong side This doesn't feel too bad, actually. Now, for me, the blade of a multi-tool knife still needs to be sharp because a blunt blade is a dangerous blade. But it doesn't have to be as honed. It doesn't have to be as honed as the survival knife the other thing i don't like is i can't get the correct i know this is not the correct angle for this knife because i can't support it properly i mean it's it it's good enough and it will do it's good enough and it will do Not as not as sharp as I would like though. No, because I can't quite get that angle on there. Yeah, that's good enough. 
for me. Right, let's see how we get on with an axe. So, with the axe, you can obviously see it's not going to go into the blade guide either uh, because the back of the axe is far too thick. But I bet I could use it to support the axe at the correct angle. That's not the right angle. I feel right. Something doesn't feel right with this. Hmm. No, something doesn't feel right with this. Okay, let me pause the video and I'll see what it is. Okay, so I'm not quite sure what's going on here, but I just can't seem to get the correct edge on this axe. It might be the axe itself, it might be the stone. I just can't seem to get an edge. can't seem to get the right angle to get the right edge on this axe but okay never mind something I'll have to look at with another sharpening stone so quick clean quick wipe that other sharpening stone oh, so I can sort that out in a second just a quick clean of the stone So, in conclusion with this sharpening stone that is right here, what do I think about it? So, what I do like, I like the base. It's a nice, big, thick, chunky base with the rubber support, uh, the, the rubber anti-slip mat on the bottom. I like the rubber holder so, you get, so that it holds the stone in place quite nicely. I do like the blade guide, although it is also something that I don't like, which I will come on to in a second. I like the blade guide for those people that have never sharpened knives before. It gives the, the correct angle to get a, a decent edge on your knife. I like the price. As I say, this was £10 when I bought it, and it's quite a big chunky stone for £10, so it's not a bad price either. What I don't like about it is the blade guide. As I say, a lot of stones will come without a blade guide. So you need to learn the angle. You need to learn the correct angle um, of uh, the, you need to know the correct angle freehand when you're sharpening your knife. That's really about it in terms of the car. Oh, and the instructions are a little bit, they're useful, but, you had to spend a few minutes trying to find English if English is your first first language. Overall, though, I do like this sharpening stone, and I think it is going to be a a good tool to work with, a useful tool to work with. Um, as I say, I've got this, I've got my other stone just there that I will be keeping as well um, because it does because uh, obviously two sharpening stones is better than one. Um, it means I can keep keep one in reserve so yeah overall like i say uh parkside two in one sharpening stone in this case the thousand and six thousand grit there is another one 400 and 600 grit um good purchase uh and overall yeah i'd recommend getting one of these thank you very much for watching it is very much appreciated and uh, i will see you next time Bye for now.